my name is Farmer Finn and today as you can see behind me we have the capture trailer on and as you've seen by the title of the video we are letting out and putting in cap all in the one day so at the minute we have 25 uh, strong calves in the trailer well I suppose at this stage I should probably really be calling them wainlands but they're not being waned so to speak they're Look, we'll just call them calves for the sake of it, but they're not really calves anymore. But anyways, with 25 of them in the trailer, we're bringing them up to uh, land we rented outside of Ballymacken, where we took off the last of the bullocks. It is about two weeks ago we took the last of them off. And um, great grass up there, so we're going to bring up these lock of calves and let them out there, and then hopefully they'll spend a lot of the winter out there, if not all the winter. Depends on how it goes, lovely dry land, there's a shed on it so they can go in and lie down, so you couldn't ask for better. There's a good chunk of land in it too, so 25 cows won't have too big of an impact on it, so they should be grand up there. But uh, the 25 cows we have there out of the batch of cows we brought back down the canal line you've seen in the last video. Um, we kept them in the castle there for a few days. Um, by right we probably cut out winter cattle in the castle to feed them silage, we have a hardcore basin and all of that but it just get mucky and we're not over keen on it so the calves that are there uh, we took the 25 away we're bringing them out and the calves that's left our tillage ground is piles of grass on it we don't know where the grass come from we were hoping to get a plowed and get winter corn into it but because of the way the weather is there's not a hope of getting any winter corn in around us the ground is too heavy it's too wet there's no hope so we're going to let the cow, them calves out there with pup palings and all, let them out there and eat down that grass before they go into the shed. We'll use the feeder trailer as well, bring out a bit of silage to them just to keep them alright. So anyways, we're going to bring these up to uh, Ballymacken and then we've our uh, heifers that are up that country as well. We're going to be bringing them home as well, so I'll, that's primarily what this video is, bringing these calves out, bringing back heifers. Uh, they're all going into the shed, there's a good batch of them up there. They're all grass, time to come home. That's it, the winter time, we want to start feeding them as well so we can have good heifers for killing come. Ooh, they're rough. Good heifers for killing come January, February, all going well. We just don't look at the price, we're not going to look into it too much because at this stage there's absolutely no point. It only depress you. So we just keep working away as we've always done. Anyway, so that's the story. So we're just on our way up there. So I'll skip on to where laying out these calves. And I have the drone with me, so I'll be putting up the drone as well and trying to get a good bit of footage with that. So I'll leave it at that for now. So now everyone we're just here and my uncle's just gone out with the buckets I can see the cattle coming there now so I may put this down and we will get them out we have to cross the road into the crush over there the cattle are out that side so we gotta get them in out and across put them in so the crush is the wrong side of the road but anyways that doesn't really matter so I'm gonna put this down now and uh, we'll go get these or sure why do we want it down for I'll carry it it makes no odds presume you want me to stay out here do you want me to go in front of them? Yeah. Right, you're standing there then, yeah? Yeah. Open the hole here, quick. Open it out. So now, there's the girls. Come on. So that was very easy, so it was. There's a couple of load of cattle there now to get in. So. 
Yeah, yeah. Is that the mall? Snow. That's that's all the heifers now. So we gotta get our gates just set up, and we gotta get our trailer backed in and start loading. And as you can see, there are drones on the wall. Hopefully now I'll get to put it up in the air and um, watch the cattle going into the trailer. So. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, before the car. Snarling, we're just back in the yard now. I think we're good. Did I get them into the shed? Oh, jeez. Left that very tight. So. Right. Yeah, spot on. No. Get the heifers off into the shed. There's a bit. There's um, half a bale of hay just left in front of the feed barrier just to keep them happy till we get um, till we get all back and get dye feeder and silage mixed up for them. So that's it. Another load to go get after this. Well, probably two. How do we? One more load or two load? One more load. Can't really see much with the sun shining. Come on! Come on! Come on! No! Where'd the chain go for that? Did you take it? Yeah. Oh. So now, 
That's the heifers. So we've three bales of straw left in and milled peat. So they'll be look after themselves there, keep themselves nice and comfortable and bedded and warm. So that's them we'll get this shop now. So that's the first load home. Yeah, we'll go get another load. So now we're back here for our second load, last load. So we'll get them rounded up and into the corral. Come on, suckies. Come on. Come on. Sure none in the houses. No. Come on. Down there, none in there. No. Come on. Shh. Yeah, all out. Come on. Shh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shh. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Shh. No. It was handy enough. Right. Okay. So now, that's the cattle all loaded up, all the heifers gone out here now. So we're literally right beside Centre Parks. I actually meant when I had the drone up to just fly up high just to show you where it was. But, anyways, that's it. I got a car behind me now, so I may get motoring. So I leave it at that and we'll get back to the yard. We'll unload these and wait fly the drone again or that for the end of the video. We'll leave it at that for now. So now I'm off the, the load of heifers now. I have one one batch of heifers in then. So now, that's all our Angus heifers, that's one batch of heifers. We have another batch with Frisian cross, or Frisian heifers and Jersey cross heifers, all twin to bulls that we get. And a um, lot of Herefords and a few misfits still to come, not too many of them, but we'll be bringing them in in a few days. They still have a bit of grass. So that's the heifers in now. So to have the bit here in front of them, keep them going until we get a lock of silage into them and um, so I don't know what we're doing now I think my father and uncle are going to get fencing to help out there in the tillage fields um, so we can move out the cows out of the castle out there and I think I'm going to spread a bit of dung or something but um, anyways at the end of this video I'll just do a little fly over the cows when they get out there if it's not too windy or raining or anything like that but anyways I'm going to leave it at that hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments or anything like that as always hit me down in the comments down below caps that I never have on my head and beanies you can get them on ebay.com link will be in the description down below along with Amazon store and if you're thinking of getting yourself a drone head over to Droneworks Ireland their link is in the description below as well so I may stop talking and get back to work so I'm going to leave it at that good luck